Happy December, everyone, and welcome to day five of Collab Mr. Serious, where I bring on a different creator every single day for the first 25 days of December. And today's special guest is Piplup himself, Gotcha Talks. How are you doing, bro? Hey, what's popping, Mr. Baby, and what's popping to all the viewers? Hope you guys are having a safe and wonderful holiday, and I hope you guys are enjoying Mr. Baby's complete collab this month it was a great idea he has a lot of cool content creators coming out so make sure to tune in every single day to this man's channel he has a lot in store dude oh wow i was i wasn't expecting all that i appreciate no, it bro yeah dude no you're um, doing a great so, thing man yeah i appreciate it so before we actually hop in i just want to say to you thank you so much for being a part of this journey um it's literally it's literally not possible right without you um every every single creator is detrimental to this journey so thank you so much for making the time out of your extremely busy schedule to come on today bro so thank you so much i really appreciate you for sure for sure man for sure <laughs> all right so today's topic right we're having a little bit of discussion video for the things that dokkan should look towards improving and maybe even changing now really quick i'm we're not you know talking bad about the game right i love dokkan my whole channel is about dokkan um but even like Dokkan is an amazing game, right? But there are things that I think Gacha and I, and even you guys that are watching, would agree that they definitely need to change. So we're going to start with a few honorable mentions, and then we're going to hop into the top five. So the first honorable mention, okay, is content for certain celebrations. Gacha, do you want to take this one away? Yeah, so the biggest thing that we have an issue with in Dokkan Battle right now, and I'm sure everybody's like in a general... Um, thought process is the same is basically we are just not getting a great content you know we're missing a lot of easy a's we're missing a lot of you know just just more creative ways of bringing new content to dokkan as of right now they've been having a very heavily focused shift on banners but they haven't really gone to the content route especially on global you know even like the gotenks and boo celebration in terms of content mm -hmm. it's been pretty you know bare bone and um, yeah. some guys might come, you know, we'll bring up the argument saying, well, you know, we got chain battle on this and that, but it's like, we need more boss rushes. We need more Dragon Ball history events. We need more legendary Goku missions. We oh need... my, dude, we need, we need a new legendary. Need, yeah, yeah, just need a new one. <laughs> no, need a new oh, one. Legendary yeah. Vegeta, bro. Legendary Cell. Legendary yes. Majin Buu, yes. right? Legendary. Yes. And then bring all, like, transition all the missions, right? And, it went, and it's like, we're not even asking for anything crazy. Like, as long as they gave us, a tr like, at least one traditionally easy egg, bro, for every single celebration. Like, the Heroes is about to happen, right? So they can give us a Heroes easy egg, right? Um, for the Majin Buu celebration, right? They could have given us easily. One of the, you know, the base form tech and intelligence Vegeta, they could have easy egg them traditionally. Oh, yeah, 100%. But, a, a lot of the Gotenks, too, so... I think easy, like, there's so many units in the game, like, real, a lot of old units that are tied to these celebrations that are coming out that they're just, they're just not getting any love. So I feel like easy A's, at least one guaranteed easy A per celebration would keep the player base extremely happy, especially, right, if you're not able to pull that new unit. And so the unit they easy A can definitely help with the new category or with the team in general, right? That, that's kind of like what I, what, what, I, uh, what I think. What about you? Yeah, no, I completely agree, man. I completely agree uh, with all that. And I, you know, uh, one day, you know, when Mr. Baby gets uh, 100,000 subscribers, this video, he could send this to Akatsuki <laughs> okay, and have bro. them review this <laughs> and hopefully, right. you know, get it together <laughs> because we do need a legendary Frieza, legendary Vegeta event. Because look at it like this. They've remade the punching bag event three times. Three times that event's come back in different things. You know, we already have the Hercule. We have the Hercule with the missions. Then we have that new stupid one. We have the tile event. We had, you know, we've had a, dump, a bunch of different variations of it. And they have not come back with the legendary event with Frieza, Vegeta, and any of that. Give them, you know, different circumstances. Maybe like the Vegeta one, instead of him uh, not dodging, he supers every turn. And just imagine yeah. how insane that would be. And yeah. then um, just stuff like that, um, you know, we need that. We need... 100%. content in dokkan and you know 100%. it's it's not fair anymore to this point to players yeah. who are spending thousands of dollars in it you know we might not be but we spend hundreds we don't spend thousands but we do spend hundreds and we should be able to have the content for the game that we enjoy spending money on. especially especially for free to play players so. exactly 
So the next topic, the next honorable mention, and the last one before we hop into the top five is Chain Battle. Now, I want to say something about Chain Battle, okay? Chain Battle, like, the idea behind Chain Battle is great, right? Um, the rewards are fantastic, but having a, a new mode that is heavily based on not only your friend system, but RNG is... Like, like again, it, it's it's a it's a it's a nice idea in and of itself. But the RNG and the fact that you, sometimes you even have to spend some to refresh the friends list, it, it's like a very tiring mode, you know. And I, I I I used to really enjoy it, but the more I play it and the the worse RNG I get, it's like it's actually like frustrating me, right? So for chain battle, dude, what I would like to see personally is maybe, well, maybe a friend system update for chain battle, right? Because a friend system is something we're going to have to talk about eventually. Um, but something that's maybe not so heavily RNG focused, right? What would you like to see them change for Chain Battle? The RNG focus on damage. So let me tell you guys. So in this <laughs> in this current one at the time of the recording was the, you know, fighting the God Coup. So Universe 6 and all that. So I have Gresh as a friend. And I use both his super and his extreme with my rainbow physical Kefla. I had KC. 69% of the dupe system as the connector, and then LR itself 90% of the dupe system as the other connector for all the cells and all the, you know, Keflas and stuff. 70, like 70 million damage. <laughs> uh, it was 130, and when I saw that, I was like, oh, that's good. But then I saw someone else get 155, and I was like, how? What? Yeah. Like, so in my, you know, honest opinion, I talked to Kama about this a couple times. He mentioned that he's like, man, maybe there's actually like a multiplier in damage that's RNG based that we don't that we don't see calculated. And I 100% agree with that. I believe there's actually a RNG to the percentage. For damage. No yes, damage it could be between <laughs> one and nine. And even with everything, you might hit like a two. So Honestly, I, dude, it makes sense. It, it makes, makes sense. sense. They just don't put it in the game, but I'm so certain that there's an RNG element to chain battle. There has to be. There, there has to be, yeah, because yeah. I've taken teams that don't make sense, and I hit, like, 105 million, and then there's a team where everyone's just super excited about the, the links are, are hitting, like, the you know the, you know when you check, like, the connectors with how many links they share? Those are hitting 80 for both super and extreme, and I'm doing, like, 70 million damage. So it doesn't make any sense to me, and I completely and 100% agree with you. Yep, so yep, just yep. strip that that RNG factor off if that exists, or make it to that right. They they release a unit prior to chain battle that's like super super duper effective, a free to play unit. Maybe it's a little hard to obtain, but a free to play unit that's going to help out in that chain battle because again, like why not? So in the first in the top five, so we, we're entering the top five now. In the fifth slot, I want to talk about a decrease. All right, in the new categories that we're getting. And an increase in the buffs for for specific categories. So, for example, Namekians, right? Namekians, you guys may say, "Yo, Mr. Baby Life, there's nothing they can do with Namekians," and I'm going to tell you flat out, you're wrong. Okay? So, Sano and Perina, Universe Six Namekians, they can make cards each. They can make an individual card for them, right? Yep. They can make a switch mechanic. They can. We can have an actual like a really good comic. We can have a Dende dude, a Dende who supports the heck. Out of Namekians, we can have a Grand Elder Guru who has an active skill where he unlocks the hidden potential of one random unit on the rotation and they get like attack and defense plus 100% for that rotation, right? Like, there's so much they can do with Namekians and unfortunately, and, and dude, they can even change some of the name for the Piccolos because a lot of the Piccolos, they're from like different, like, they can just get creative with Namekians, but it's like... The moment you continue to add like piccolos and stuff, that's what that's what makes the problem. But they, if they really wanted to, because we've been introduced to enough Namekians to have a really solid team, but they're just instead of you know bringing Namekians, they want to bring you know categories like Desperate Struggle, which is kind of this, it's very similar to a bunch of all, like categories that are already there, right? So how do you feel about that? I 100% agree, and the greatest thing that they've done right now. It's the way that they handled the Dragon Ball Hero stuff. And I think they should do this up with more units and more banners. Because basically what they did was they made separate, they made 120 leads for crossover, another 120 lead for Great 8 power, and a 130%, yep. and then a 170%. They could yep. easily do that for any unit, like you just mentioned, for any Namekian, for any hybrid saiyan for any you know earthling they could just start doing that instead of making different categories they could just make these guys 
more like more variants of leaders. Like, look, the Dragon Ball Heroes banner, you have so many different good leads. Even yeah. the Bob, you know, the Deborah card's a great lead. He's a Dragon Ball Heroes lead. Even Toa, she's a 150% lead for Dragon Ball Heroes. It's like they could easily start doing that with newer Dokka Fest cards. Instead of making these new cards, they could easily just start filling in holes and gaps. Like maybe, you know, they make a Dokka Fest Adoria and Zarbon dual, you know, like they make them a dual oh, card. Be, Not a dual Dokka so Fest, but like cool. a dual card. Like make them together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. Um, make them a, you know, Planamic Saga lead, 170% across the board. That's it. If they just did that. Mm-hmm. Or make them 170% uh, percent across the board for Planetic and then do a monotype as the secondary. Yeah. Like, they could start doing the monos again. And I would actually prefer that. Because- a mono, dude, a mono, you know, to go back into, because right now we're in like the category, yeah, you know, yeah. meta and all that type of stuff. Going back to a mono meta would actually be very interesting. Like, imagine us seeing like key four 200% leads for mono leads, dude. Like, that'll be insane. But back to what you said, like, I want what's currently in the game to be buffed, right? At the time of this recording, Bojack is not even out yet. Bojack has already been confirmed, but he's not out yet. So Bojack, I want him, I don't want him to bring a new category, dude. I want him to lead Key 4 170% to, this might sound broken, but Dokkan's already broken, okay? Um, we could do two movie bosses, bro. Movie bosses and Resurrected Warriors. Now you buffing two categories instead of just introducing a weird, extremely niche category that no one's gonna run. Like, what the heck is Saviors, bro? What is what the heck is Special Pose? Who's running Special Pose? You know, no one. Like, so there's just no point. So of that. Saviors, it's you, you, oh, so this is what like these weird categories do. Sometimes they give you options to other units for like you know um, to rock with like hybrid, for example, with like Saviors and hybrid. Now you can rock Tech TN. With Go Bros, with you know Tech Ultimate Gohan, so like you have access to that. So like certain things, like see, I guess I see what they're trying to do. But like you mentioned, who cares about doing stuff like that? Just make better categories. I'm like so happy with the crossover category because this is like probably one of the best oh, yeah. categories they've made in the game so far. But yeah, like I in terms it. of like newer ones, like look at Desperate Struggle. Desperate Struggle is a train wreck, dude. It is <laughs> yeah, and so it's, bad. It's very, it's very similar to a lot of the other categories that we have. It's just yeah, super like, niche, what, right? Ten units in it, like it's horrible. Yeah, yeah. And then so it's like at this point, Dokkan, please. I know there's a there's a zero point zero zero one percent chance that you, that that you're watching this video, but please. Stop adding new categories. Okay, we're done. We, we, we're done. Yeah, I'm and done the with moment, the new categories, dude. Yeah. The moment we can have an SBR and ESBR stage for every single category in the game, that's it. Like we're, 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 that's, that's, that's the moment you guys can start adding new categories. So number four on the list is login bonuses. Now, login bonuses is something I've actually been wanting to change for a while. You guys can notice that we get like a very small amount of Zenny, right? We get sometimes a stone every other day or whatever the case may be. We have like some really wacky training items like Dokkan has evolved from what it once was. But the login bonus, in my opinion, it, it's not keeping up right with with the current um, with the way Dokkan is right now, especially with all the Zenny you require for easy ace and stuff. So I would like personally, dude, I would like to see multiple login bonuses a day. Like, so you know how when you log in, you get like. I think you get two things. I think you get like a stone. On, what is it like a stone or something? And then a, there's two things you get on login bonuses. Do you remember what it is? It's usually like a stone or like it'll be um, some type of. I'm trying to think. Okay. It's great. I, I played Dokkan for like a billion years, and I, I, they, I can't. They change even... it up. Sometimes it'll be like metal. Sometimes it'll be yeah like potential orb. Sometimes you know at mm-hmm. the end. Usually at the beginning, and then at the end of it, they'll drop like they'll be like, "Oh, here's a Kai," you know, they'll do that. Yeah, exactly. So what I would like to see is like some type of like schedule, maybe even like a ten day schedule where like every ten days, the the, the rewards you get you are get different. Five so, stones. Exactly, dude. Five stones, but not every single day, right? But five stones maybe for day one, okay? Then maybe day two they give you large orbs, a, a very small amount, but large orbs for every single type. Then day three we get five million zenny. Five million Zenny can take, it can definitely help with easy A's instead of just the the, the, the small yeah, monster. Yeah, I agree. Getting, Dokkan you know? doesn't do the greatest job with like login bonuses and like to most... help out players who can't yeah. even spend. Like you see what I'm saying. And then day four could be could be Kai, maybe one Kai of each type. Then day five can be five stones because if you think about it, that's that's basically stones every single day. Um, that's one stone every day. So day five can be five stones or maybe 
I think five stones is good. And then day six, dude, like, I don't know, maybe medium orbs. Day seven, you give us a little bit more zenny, right? Day eight, bro, what, what if what if we got, like, an exclusive, like, medal or something that we got through login bonuses? That can be, like, the part. So, you know, again, when you log in, there's two things you get. Every single day, you get at least, like, one coin that, over time, you can go exchange stuff in the Baba Shop with. Just just, just by logging in. It could be units. It can be really old units. It's units that have passed a two-year, three-year threshold. And then day 10, we give you like like actual Kai's, a little bit of stone. So, like, dude, that would just make logging in so much more worth it, bro. So I feel like if they change that, it not only helps the whales, right? But it also, I think, more helps the free-to-play players getting their units up to SA10, rainbowing those units and stuff like that. So that's uh, that's my opinion. What do you think? Yeah, no, Overall. I'm down for that because they should... I mean, right now, they just give medals and stuff like that. And like sometimes they'll do like 100 potential orbs, but... You know, they could really start ramping that up a bit more. Like, take away, like, the medals so much and just start, you know, giving more potential or start giving more Kai's. You know, Kai's are still, so, like, if they gave a Kai every single day, that would be oh three, that would be three that units would be a month. That would be godsend. That would be Like, just look at that. That's only three units a month, right? Uh, that's, that's yes, insane. three units. Actually, no, three. well, because you only need nine, you only need nine Kai's to get a unit up to oh, say okay, 10. okay, that's true, that's true. So, um, so it's, it's a little bit more than that, actually. So it'll be like three, so, and then you could get someone else up. I'll yeah, exactly. Back. But so that, they, dude, that's like, that's amazing, bro. You see what I'm saying? Like, like yeah. And like there's they, no reason why. They could definitely do that, um, especially for like the smaller celebrations, because the smaller celebrations are so like dead half the time that yeah. I think it would definitely benefit the game and it'll just keep morale up a bit higher during yeah, those 100%. times. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely down for them to do that. Uh, like, a, a whole overhaul would be insane. I would love that. Yeah. So, number three on the list. All right. Number three is the link level grind efficiency. Now, gotcha. I don't know how much you grind links. Okay. So but I would like... Here's mm -hmm. my issue with it. And me and Periodic are in the same boat, actually. I have so many units at level eight links. <laughs> so many that are between six to eight. But yeah. what happens is every time there's a new unit that comes out, I have to stop, and then yeah. I have to jump on that one. So it's kind of like that's like that's like the issue. Like I got like the extreme AGL 17s to so like eight and nines. I couldn't finish them because once I finished them, guess what? Boo came out, and then I have to start doing booze links and trunks and go ten, and then the free to play units that came out with them. I was also doing their links. So it's like I don't get to do everybody level ten as much as I would like because. Um, Unfortunately, it's time and two. It's like I try prior. Like I don't like you know, and I'm sure you feel the same way. You don't like prior. Like you don't want to put out a link showcase where it's like level one links, unless it's like a like exactly. fifty-five percent yeah. new dual confessed unit. Hundred percent. Then it's 100%. a bit different because then like you see you get two different aspects of it. But um, yeah. in terms of like let's say like you know it's the Golden and Trunks card that just came out. You don't want to put a you know a showcase out for them when they're like not hitting two million or like even like one point eight. So it's like okay, this is boring. So 100%. that's kind of where I'm at with links. So for me and I'm for you and periodic and everybody else, I would love a once a day stage that will give a higher multiplier to eight <laughs> to 10 links. I would love that. Yes. To, something to yes. help get these, do those eights to nines because dude, it takes so long to get nines to tens. Yeah. So, and so the way links actually work right now, right. Um, is that the more XP, that you that you burn or that you use entering a stage actually changes the, the 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 rng or you know helps in terms of getting those links up so the more again the more so let's say you use 50 uh stamina for a stage the chance of your links leveling up is a little bit higher than if you were to use 12 or 15 or 20. so what i think they should do right once twice three times a day something that uses literally all of your stamina it gives you one stone a day literally so that way you don't have, you can use a free stone for stamina refresh. It doesn't kill your stones, but it uses every single ounce of stamina you have. So that way, you're like the chance of you legitimately getting your links up is actually really high, and it's like a thirty stage fight. So and and you only you only get ones right. You can only click ones, and there's thirty Cybermen you can fight. Uh, yeah, and and it gives you one stone. It, it gets it's, it's, it could be a very long event. I understand, but you only enter it if you want to. It gives you one stone, and maybe it gives. And now maybe there's like a, an RNG thing to what other uh, rewards you can get. So maybe you can get a little bit of orb, you can get like a Kai or whatever the case may be, or maybe you get rewards as you uh, what's it called 
um, as you like every single side menu you defeat, right? So at the end of, at the end of the event, there's a bunch of rewards for you to actually collect. It doesn't have to be anything too crazy, right? Maybe a little bit of any here, a little bit of orbs here, just very random. But at, that would be absolutely amazing, right? Because then you're not only getting rewarded with a stone to replenish, but also many rewards. Like maybe it gives you 30 small orbs for just defeating one guy, and then. 10,000 zenny for defeating another. And then at the end, you have a good amount of orbs, maybe a little bit of zenny, and you're getting your stone refreshed back. And now you have a bunch of links that are just being boosted like crazy. Just once a day, dude. Some, something that's going to help the link level grind because like I, like, like you like you said, like I grind links literally every single day, right? Um, besides like Goresh and probably Truth and like Nolar, I think I'm like one of the people that just grind legitimately every single day. So I would love for them to implement a system where it just makes that a little bit easier so that I can go ahead and get some units, right, up to where they need to be in terms of showcases and stuff like that. Because just like you said, I mean, if, unless it's going to be complete 55%, I don't want to showcase a unit at, four, at level four yeah. or five, six links, right? It doesn't, it's, yeah. it doesn't make sense, right? I mean, yeah. at least for me, it needs to be level 10 links. So that, that's like the new thing. Like everyone wants to see level 10 links for a unit, not just 55%, not just 100% anymore, you know? So... Uh, yeah, that's what we think about that. I 100% agree with that because, well, don't get it wrong. Because, like, you know, one thing I will just chime in. It's like if people like you, they'll still watch it, right? Um, 100%. You know, anybody who watches, like, if you can't get them up, still make the videos. Because, um, like, you could definitely still be the more realistic setting. Because, yeah, like, dude, it's so hard getting to every single unit level 10. It, it really and, and then it's also a bunch of RNG. Like, for Super 17, I got his, I got his links on in four days. Four yeah, days. Yeah, you see, like it just happens. Like it just depends. So it's just it's too RNG based. Um, yeah. But um, another unit it takes like it takes like two weeks for one link to move. So it's so it's super annoying. And I, I think that. And what if they what if they even guarantee like at least okay this many links whatever like uh, that would just be amazing. But number two on our list, okay, is the world tournament. Now, Let's talk about world tournament. <laughs> okay, now, yeah, okay. I told you. And the DMs, <laughs> I want them to cancel the world tournament. Just, you know. Yeah, okay, so but he, he, here's my thing. Here's my thing. I don't want them to cancel the world tournament. I want it gone. I don't listen, care listen. anymore. I understand. I understand. The world tournament is something that doesn't happen every single day. Okay, so it's not like that bad. I understand. All right, but the world tournament is just—it's cancerous for the grind. So I think there's literally, like, literally, like two changes they need to do. Okay, two changes, literally, to make it more enjoyable. The preliminary fight, okay, you're up against three bots who, once they clash, bro, they, they take out, like, 50% of one per- Like, it, it's not- it's not quick. So, what I would want to see is every single fight just be with one person, dude. Every single fight just be with one per- just one person. That's it. So, uh, uh, preliminaries is one fight, quarters is one fight, semifinals is one fight, and finals is one fight. That makes you zoom through the tournament a lot faster, okay? Now- when you're running World Tournament, there's a chance for you, okay, to actually get a bonus fight. But sometimes bonus fights don't come that often. So guarantee us at least in one of the four fights, every single World Tournament, every single World Tournament, guarantee us at least, at least one bonus fight. So it has to be in the preliminaries, quarters, semis, or finals. And obviously the higher it is, the more points we're actually going to get. Once you do something like that, World Tournament actually becomes a little more enjoyable. And this is for the boy Truth. Because I know Truth really wants specific LRs. Just add the LRs to the coin shop, bro. Like, stop. Because, again, the, the more World Tournaments we get, the harder it is to pull LRs on that banner, right? So just go ahead, bro, and then throw the LRs on, on, a, on the gold coin, the red coin, something like that. What do you think, bro? What do you think they should do to, to really make World Tournament? And don't, don't say delete it, okay? Don't say take it out. Take away <laughs> the whole moving around the map. We don't need that anymore. Oh, yeah. Just Actually, take, wait, wait, wait. Take that wait. away. Completely. Wait, wait, I, actually, I have to disagree real quick. Unless they change this, because in the finals, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but in the final stage, there's some times where you get to a stage where there is golden medals around you. And if you collect those, those are actually, okay, the awakening medals, the, the World Tournament Awakening medals. So I have grinded like 70, 80 from just one World Tournament, which actually helps me awaken my LRs. So if they do something about those medals, and let's say they give you Take a certain amount of those three stages away. And then let's leave that one. Oh, no, no. You Actually, I agree with you. Let's take every single stage away, but guarantee us those World Tournament medals and maybe even the Herc the, the Chi-Chi and, and Turtle medals that you need to awaken the Super Strike units. Guarantee those, right? At the end, 
of the finals or something along the lines. Because again, like you said, move, moving around the tournament is just dumb, dude. Moving around the tournament is literally just dumb. Just give us a tour of points and let's move on, you know? So I would like to see a huge overall. Is there anything else you'd like to see them change to, uh, to the World Tournament? Definitely that. I would say... Um... Because the thing is, too, like, you know, we're mentioning this, but, like, I think it will just become way crazier if we're able to skip all that. But in terms of, you know, making it better, definitely just, that's, like, one of the biggest things I could think of is just skipping those stupid stages. Or if they don't want to skip the stages, take out the, the stupid time limit, because some guys actually <laughs> lose because of that time limit, you know, the three. Yeah. So that's always, like, an issue. And personally, I just hate it. I'm, I've never been a big fan of it. I do grind it, don't get me yeah. wrong. I always, you know, finish up my rewards and go for like top five or top three local. Yeah. Uh, I hit top low, I hit top one one like twice. And number one, no, number one local is not that hard to get unless you have not, like, a, like, a, like, a, like, like, like a real sweat. Because there's people who have like 200 million points in a local and I'm, I'm so glad that I don't have sweats in my local too. Because yeah, some yeah, people, you know, yeah, I agree, but. I agree with that yeah. one. But I so. just personally, I don't know. I am just done with it um, and dude imagine if they fake okay so let's 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 re, before we hit number one like let's recap so if they had an update that fixed chain battle for us just made it a lot easier rng like it's not as rng focused okay they made it so that grinding links is easier they they started not introducing new categories for a whole year and just buffed the heck out of every single category right so now people could run any category they want and beat the legendary Goku and beat SBR, right they changed login bonuses so that we're getting more Kai's, more orbs, more Zenny. Easy end units is just a lot more feasible now. Rainbow end units is a lot more feasible. And they changed, bro, like, how, and they changed the world tournament. Like, how how much better, and again, no one's ever going to be extremely happy with the state of Delcon. There's people that are always going to just dislike that. And then give us guaranteed easiest per celebration. How much would you enjoy Delcon at that, at that state, dude? Yeah, uh, <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. <laughs> Dude, I would like, it's like, Dokkan is like, the, like, Dokkan would be the best game in, in, I don't care. Dokkan would be the best game if they did all that type of stuff, you know. So, for the number one, the number one change that I think we all need to see is the friend system. We need to change the friend yes, system. Yes, change now, the I'm, friend system. Do... To, to Mr. Piplup's excitement here, I'm gonna let you take this one away, dude. Literally, all feel? they have to do is do what Hydros did for freaking Uni Dokkan Trident. Like, just give us a ghost lead. So here, so hear me out. This is what they should do. They should mirror your own leader. They don't have to give us a rainbow lead. They don't have to give us a 55% one. Whatever your hidden potential is, whatever essay yours is. Let, just mirror that and have that as an option. Keep all the other friends, like, keep the friends just the way it is. So, like, we could still u use each other because sometimes, you know, you might have something rainbow that I don't that I want to use, right? So, yeah. they could definitely still leave that. But give us the option to use our own character as a double leader. That's it. It does, it's not going to break the game when I, because I'm a 55% guy. I always just go for 55%, then I dip, and then obviously later on I'll get dupes. Yeah. But it's not going to break the game if I'm able to use my same unit as two leads using 55%. It's not. Yeah. And it's not going to take me three hours. Because, look, I was doing a showcase the other day for Fu. He's the only Dragon Ball Heroes. <laughs> and, you know, I could not find it. I couldn't find it. Yeah. You yeah. Know, I, uh -huh. I, I looked for it for two hours. Then the next day, I found him. It was so stupid. It, you know, but it's like, for me, that is the best thing that they could do. Just completely change that. Or if they want to go even further beyond with that, add that, then add us, you know, add an option where we could actually, like, type in what friend we want to use. Like, if I have Mr. Baby as a friend and I type you in into the system, then you pop up. Like, you know, doing stuff like that as well would be cool and stuff like, like, Dokkan's RNG about everything. The friend system should not be RNG. I'm sorry. It, it just should not be. No, I don't yeah. think other games do that, really. Like, Fake Grand Order, I could find everybody pretty easily. Bleach, everybody's pretty easy to the find. Issue, the issue with that, though, is that when you type in nano, I'm pretty sure there's like a billion nanos in the game, right? So oh, that's it's like, fine, because all, you know, yeah. all those nanos are going to be good. Well, not necessarily, right? Because you can have... 
a new player whose name is Nano. But well, that, people, that's, that's like well, people add the Nano in because they're looking for that luck. So I'm always anticipating yeah. that they actually get the luck in. You know that, <laughs> that stupid. Thing. Yeah, I, I guess so. Okay, I guess. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, yeah, it's 100%. obviously a joke, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I get what you mean, of course. But yeah. I, I think they. But um. <clears throat> no. So. Yeah. Wait, what happened? No, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. So I was gonna say, yeah. So a mirroring system, right? Just where basically mirrors. But that actually. That entices you to summon. Because if you don't if you don't pull that new unit, that means you won't have the mirror system work for you. So that actually entices more people to summon. Which actually helps Dokkan out. You see what I'm saying? Because if I want a new unit, because now no one has to really be afraid of summoning for a new unit, because it's like, wow, this is, I'm gonna find no friends with that, so I can't even run the team. But no. If you pull three copies and get this unit to link level 10 your friend is going to have, th at least the first friend you get, the mirroring systems and give you uh, your your unit with three copies and links at level 10 with the same exact potential system that you've given your unit. Basically a mirror system. Basically whatever you have selected, whatever have as your leader is going to give, like that's literally all they need to do. Dude. It's literally it. And then maybe, right, maybe they give us something to where even if we don't pull the new unit, they give us a 55% link level one, unit just there for that for that category you know at least because like you said like for, for showcase purposes primarily right i know i know a lot of people like to use seven teams but like 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 you said dude foo or few how are you gonna pronounce his name you can't find him you nope. literally cannot find him in the front baby and all the people like people are going to be summoning for this hero's banner all right guys by the way you know we're recording this before the hero's banner drops i promise mm -hmm. you in a month you will not be able to find tech uh, the Super Saiyan 4 Vegito's as leaders. I don't know, bro. I don't Promise know. Miss you. Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, dude. Promise. But, like, like, I'll tell you right now. Super Saiyan Blue. The, the S, the free to play STR Super Saiyan Blue. You'll find more uh, of those. Vegito. No, no, he's Vegito. still in the friends system. He's still in the friends list, dude. All over the place. You still find him, and he is like what, two years old, three years old. So. That's not three years old, but like two years old now. So, bro, Super Saiyan Four Vegeta. I mean, I, I see what you're saying, but it's Super Saiyan Four Vegeta. You like, I, like I feel it in my bones <laughs> that people will start putting up the SDR one. I don't know, man. I don't know. You know I, fine, and, again, fine, fine. I, I'll be hopeful. I'll be hopeful when this Super video Saiyan comes out Vegito, in December. You know, we will see how the uh, yes. how how it's looking in terms of the friends list with uh, the Super Saiyan Four is. Hundred percent, but I, I really, I really do think that I really like. I honestly think that we're gonna see at, at least we were saying for Vegito for a few months. Dude. Enough for enough for billions and billions of showcases, you know. So, um, so yeah. So really quick to recap. So we want Easy Ace at least, at the very least, Easy Ace or some type of new content um, guaranteed to us every single celebration, so we can have some, something a little bit more to look forward to than just the banner, right? Because again, for Bojack, dude, the AGO Bojack can get an easy A, dude. He's yeah. absolute garbage. Yeah, he, yeah, if yeah, he gets yeah. an easy, and you know what's funny too, if you if they easy A that that AGO Bojack, you're gonna be able to run the new Dokkan Fest Bojack, LR Bojack, and that AGO Bojack on the same rotation. Like, that's insanity to me. Uh, so at least something like that chain battle, just strip away the R the need for RNG, please. Okay. Um, decrease in new categories, increase in buffs. Come on, login bonuses, link grind efficiency, world tournament, please, God, please. And the friend system. So, do you, is there anything else that you, that you thought about in this video um, that you would like to add really quick that that can, you know, that you would like to see Dokkan improve? Because I think that's pretty much it for me. I, again, there's, and I know maybe yeah. there's things that we didn't touch upon for you guys, but, um, and if you guys have, disagree on anything or want to include anything, let us know in the comment section below. But gotcha, is there anything else? No, not really. But the one thing I will say now, it's that in the potential future, you don't know how many years, but we could always see a complete overhaul of Dokkan because as of right now, just wanted to close it up with this, if not many people are aware, they can actually not edit the core gameplay of Dokkan because the server it's on. I don't, the server and software it was created on is a very outdated server and software that came out a couple years back. So they actually cannot do anything unless they completely overhauled and started from scratch. 
So I just wanted wow. to make that into. I just wanted to throw that into the video as well because we are talking about this, but they could also be thinking of a complete overhaul in the future, which could happen. So you're talking about like a complete UI change? They would have, like, yeah, feet? because there's no way they could like change. Like they could get the sprites looking better, the animations looking better, but they cannot change the actual core of it mm. to look like a modern 2020 mobile game because the software that they're mm. using it on is extremely outdated. And they're still, yeah. you know, just updo updating in, you know, a very outdated software. So we could potentially always see like a Dokkan 2 in the future. We don't know. Um, yeah. 2021, we won't see it because it's, um, Toei has a, you know, a contract with a bunch of different companies where one year it's a movie, one year it's a game. Uh, this year we got I Capra. thought it, I thought it I thought it was a game every single year. It's a game and then a movie. So like this year was Kakarot. That's why there's been so much DLC. Next year is going to be the big movie. And then the year after we could potentially see them say, hey, we want another Dragon Ball three. game. Universe 3. It please. could happen. <laughs> we could get that. I thought, or we could... I thought it was a contract. I thought the contract was at least one game every single year. Because we have seen a Dragon Ball game every single year, though. We have. And we I... have not seen a movie every other year, though. Because Jump Force, right? Kakarot. Um, Z fighters. So we've seen games every single year. We have we haven't yeah, seen because like, I, I know they could switch it up, of course. But I believe that's what like I think like they're guaranteed a game. At least one or the other. Yeah, I think obviously more uh, okay. the better. But yeah, hundred percent. I think when 100%. I talked to Periodic, he mentioned it was like a movie and then it's a game, and then we could potentially see a um, another. We could see another Gacha game come out in twenty twenty one for Dragon Ball. But yeah, Dokkan for mm. next year at least, it's going to be completely fine. Um, yeah. But yeah, for everybody who's one, like, you know, obviously these are just fixing this game, but maybe they have, you know, there's a new chairman. We don't know what he's thinking right now. So yeah, that, that could be a potential. But no, um, I, I'm pretty, that, that was basically all I wanted to cover. I mean, you hit up every single good point that I could think of. Yes, sir. And definitely, you know, everybody who's watching, let us know any other things that you guys would want fixed in the game. In the comment section below. But actually, before we end this video, bro, I have, I have two questions for you. Yeah, for sure. That, that I'm asking everyone for these collabs. Now, the first question is, in light of Christmas, in light of the month of, you know, giving, receiving, family, if there is one message that you can spread across to all the viewers that are watching, what would that message be? Tell your closest friends and family that you love them. A hundred percent, dude. Add, uh, on it doesn't a consistent even get... basis. Don't yeah, ever it doesn't lose even... time. Don't let petty fights take over a friendship or relationship. Do not let certain aspects of your life affect that. Always keep them close because you never know when they're gonna go. Yeah, a hundred percent. I love that. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, yes, it, it, it's a hundred percent true. You know, it's it, little quarrels are not worth it, right? Really not worth it, especially exactly. when you trying to focus on you, getting your bag, and hoping the best for everyone else, right? Yeah. Now, the second question is. What do you want for Christmas, bro? Um, to get monetized is definitely what I am. <laughs> Dude, you're getting it, bro. You're getting it right now. You're getting um, it. You're getting it. I, that, that's like definitely like my biggest goal right now is just to get monetized and get that mm -hmm. foot in the door with that. Because obviously, yes. whatever extra little money I could get, you know, you know, stones and stuff like that could definitely stone money, baby. Nah, yeah, man, but yeah. I, yeah, hundred percent, bro, hundred percent. And I wish you the best of luck. Now, I'm telling you, by the time this video goes up. This you might actually have already hit because you be are close, actually exploding dude. right now. So link in the description below for Gotcha's Twitter, of course his YouTube. Anything else you want to link down there for you? Uh, no, that is all, man. And uh, thank you for having me on. And guys, you guys have a safe holiday and enjoy Mr. Baby's entire insane month <laughs> of collab. Collab, yes, sir. So thank you so much for coming on. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Take care, everybody.